Hello and welcome to the newsroom. I am Tamilore Akinkulie, and these are the stories we're following at the moment. President Bola Tinobu has assured the African Union AU of Nigeria's support in security, stability, and prosperity for Africa. The president gave the assurance in New York during a bilateral discussion with the president of the Union of Comoros and chairperson of the African Union. He also said that the AU is strategically positioned to secure consensus positions for the continent on economic and social political relations with the world, particularly with Nigeria's stalwart backing. Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodo has emphasized the need to instill party discipline within the All Progressive Congress APC to ensure that the members of the party are accountable for their actions. Speaking during a meeting with the APC leaders in Ijebu East local government, the governor said he is prepared to defend himself against the allegation of funds diversion by the impeached chairman of Ijebu East local government, Wali Adedayo. The governor said he is prepared to ensure that the impeached chairman is held responsible for his words and must prove the allegation made against this person. And no fewer than eight security agents comprising soldiers, policemen, and Nigeria's security and civil defense corps have been killed by government in Imo State. The incident, which happened on Tuesday morning in Aime Imba, no local government area of the state, threw the area into panic. The Joint Security Task Force teams were when two security trucks were ambushed and set ablaze by their attackers. None of them survived as they were burnt inside their operational vehicles. The Universal Basic Education Commission has revealed that Nigeria needs an additional 20,000 school and 907,769 classrooms to be able to absorb the growing number of out-of-school children in the country. The Minister of Education, Tari Maman, who received a briefing on the figures, called on all states of the Federation to show greater commitment towards providing counterpart funding to accelerate the development of basic education in the country. The United States government says there is no quick and easy solution to Nigeria's economic challenges. Speaking at a forum with business leaders in Lagos, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of Treasury, Wali Adeyemo, said the country lacks a macroeconomic framework to attract more dollar-denominated foreign direct investment into its economy. According to him, the early steps of the new administration will help the country attract investors as they are still concerned from the investors as regards the repatriation of their funds. And on the global scene, the EU executive has temporarily suspended funding for the World Food Programme WFP in Somalia after a UN investigation for the widespread theft and misuse of the aid to avert famine. According to the UN data, the European Commission gave more than $7 million in aid to the WFP's operation in Somalia last year and a fraction of the domination of more than $1 billion it received. And in sport, the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF, has confirmed that Sao Tome and Principe has withdrawn from the 2024 Women African Cup of Nations first round against Nigeria. The nine-time African champions were to host the Sao Tome and Principe ladies in the first leg of the qualifying match at Mobolaji Johnson Arena, Lagos, on Friday, with the return leg scheduled for Tuesday, September the 26th. However, NFS Director of Communication Ademola Olajire said logistics was the primary reason for their opponents to draw from the WAFCON qualifiers. And that's all on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Tamilore Akin Bye for now.